Hello. Are you anxious? Struggling to keep up with all you have to do? Is this affecting how you feel about your life and relationships? If so, you could be struggling, for, suffering from performance anxiety. Stay with me a few moments and I'll talk about that. My name is Colin. I'm a chaplain working in the community and also a counsellor. Years ago, I worked with a man in a sales team. He was boasting, he used to boast a lot about the deals he'd made and I was impressed. But one day I was shocked to find out he'd been dismissed um, because the sales he had made had all been false. He'd been forging customer signatures on the contracts. Can you believe that? Looking back, I now see this behaviour as an example of performance anxiety. He was so desperate to get uh, those deals in and to keep his job, to meet the targets. And it, the stress drove him uh, to do something ridiculous, really, because he would have been found out at some point. You know, our, our situations, you and mine, may not be that extreme. Um, but like, like that, that man um, with that stress and that performance anxiety, um, his was external stress, but also there's the inner stuff, inner stuff that happens, the inner pressure to succeed and do well. And if we don't um, do well and we don't perform, often uh, if we have this form of anxiety, we feel it reflects on us, it reflects on our self-worth and our self-esteem. So where do we get this from? Well, there's a, a great need um, to perform and succeed. It's very strong in our society. Um, we see it all over social media, trying to keep up with other people, how we look um, you know, and, and various things. Um, and there's so many ways that you can be tempted into thinking it's all about what you do uh, that gives you acceptance and love. Um, and the need to find recognition through what we achieve can be an issue for anyone, no matter our age or situation. Um, but one author I read thinks the issue is a particular problem for men. I mean, of course, wanting to do a job well is a good thing um, and only becomes a problem when really it's, it's well, when we do it um, or a part of what we do and it becomes really strong that we do it for love and acceptance um, and we do, we do it to, to, for people to look, look, look better in people's eyes. Um, and that can turn a person, if it goes to extremes, to a workaholic. I often say to people um, I'm talking to is that um, we are more than our brains, more than what we think. Um, we're more than just our emotions as well. Um, we're physical and also spiritual beings. And there's a lot of advice out there, isn't there, um, uh, about anxiety. And this is one particular type of anxiety, of course. Um, but it's very easy to forget the spiritual side, that we're holistic, more than just one aspect of us. And I've seen um, how faith in God can really help build self-esteem and reduce anxiety brought on by these unrealistic expectations we have of ourselves in life. You know, some of us feel everything is on our shoulders and therefore we must try and be in control. And sometimes we do this because the only, we think it's the only way we can feel safe and good about ourselves. Perhaps that's you or perhaps it's someone you know. And, and for faith to have a positive effect, it really depends on the type of God you believe in. Um, some people believe in a a God who's punitive, who's condemning, who's trying to catch you out. And it's all about keeping up and trying to prove yourself to God. Um, if so, then faith can be a negative thing. But what if that is diff your belief in God is different and your belief in God is a, in a kind, supportive, caring God? Many of us in, in church, um, in my church, in Oakley Street Baptist Church, um, and others, for instance, we we believe and find that God is, is is very different to that punitive God I just mentioned. And we find that we find out what God's like by reading about Jesus, um, who he is and how he lived and died in the Bible. I mean, in the Bible we see that Jesus is really caring for those who are harassed and troubled. Um, Jesus said that people are like sheep, the ones he observed were like sheep, without a shepherd, lost and helpless in an uncertain world. And our world couldn't be any more uncertain than it is at the moment. There seems to be one crisis after another. So believing Jesus' claim that he is a good shepherd who looks after his sheep, looks after us, can make a real difference to how we feel about ourselves, how we see the world. Faith like this is life-changing. Seeing God as your safety net and a loving Father who will not let you down um, and not let you be overwhelmed reduces the need to perform and to keep all those balls, you know, dancing in the air. Does this sound good to you? A very brief time. I've got much time to explain this anymore. But if, you, if it sounds good to you, Reach out to your local church, reach out to a Christian friend or, or a counsellor to get the help and support you need. Thank you for joining me. Good night.